Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to read The Grouchy Ladybug. Now, I know I sent this to you guys on the Remind app through a different YouTube channel, but I haven't had the chance to read it to you, and I would like to. So, the title of our book is The Grouchy Ladybug. Does anyone know what does it mean to be grouchy? Does anyone know? Let's look at her face. Can you see? How does her face look? Does she look happy, sad, angry? What do you think? So, to be grouchy, say grouchy. Say grouchy. To be grouchy means to be angry or grumpy. So she is an angry ladybug. Have you ever seen an angry ladybug before? I don't think I have. I wonder why she's grouchy. What do you think? Well, let's get started. The author is Eric Carle, so let's see what Eric Carle wrote about the grouchy ladybug. Okay. There she is. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. There's the moon. Fireflies. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So how many ladybugs do you see on the page? There's two, right? They're both flying in to eat the aphids. Aphids are little bugs. Can you see the little bugs on the leaf? That's what the ladybugs are going to eat. I wonder if there's enough for both of them. What do you think? Are there enough aphids for them to share? Let's find out what happens. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. Oh, she's nice, right? She is friendly. That means to be nice. No, they're all mine. All mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? <gasps> is that a green choice or a red choice? What do you think? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. Wow, what do you think? Is she being grouchy or is she being friendly? She's being pretty grouchy. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So did you see the stinger? I wonder what the stinger would do. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said that grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Do you see the beetle? Look at those jaws it has. At 8 o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and she flew off. See the praying mantis? Look at those long legs. Why would she not want to fight the praying mantis? At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. A sparrow is a type of bird. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. What is she going to say? Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp Beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, 
and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Where would you find a lobster at? At home? In a tree? On the beach? Probably in the ocean right at the beach. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Would you want to fight with a lobster? Why not? At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. <gasps> hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift up its tail. Oh no, what does that mean when a skunk lifts its tail up? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Look at the skunk. Who's bigger, the skunk or the grouchy ladybug? Why wouldn't the grouchy ladybug want to fight the skunk? What do you think? I wonder. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Look at the snake. Where is the grouchy ladybug? She's so small, you can barely see her. Do you see her on the page? See if you can find her. She's very tiny. She's right over there. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I wonder why does the ladybug keep telling everyone they're not big enough? Who's bigger? Is she bigger or is the hyena bigger? I would think that a hyena would be way too big for a ladybug to fight with. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. What comes after two o'clock? What do you think? We have one o'clock, two o'clock. What's going to come next? Three o'clock. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Wow, that's huge. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Wow, look at that big horn it has. That looks really sharp. Oh, no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At what time? Four o'clock. It encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. These are the tusks. They're like the horns. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And what do you think she did? She flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Look at the whale, and then look how tiny the ladybug is. Can you point to her? She's so small compared to the whale. At 515. The grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, what's a flipper? A flipper is the whale's arm. It's how it swims. So this is the whale's flipper. It's his arm. She said to the flipper, hey, you want to fight? Do you think she could fight the whale's arm? Is that a good idea? What do you think? Red choice, green choice? But it got no answer. Why didn't the whale's flipper answer her? Because it has no mouth, right? It's just the arm. So it got no answer and she flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, this is the fin, that's the top part of the whale. Hey you, wanna fight? Do you think the fin is going to answer? Does the fin have a mouth?
but I got no answer. So it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, here's the tail, you see the tail? Hey you, wanna fight? Is the tail going to answer? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. Look at the ladybug, she's going flying. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Where is she? She landed right back on the leaf with the same friendly ladybug. I wonder what will happen next. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Well, she decided to share this time. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. Wow, so look at the two ladybugs. They went to sleep and they cleaned off all the aphids off of the leaves. Now the leaves are nice and clean. No more buggies eating them. And that is the end of the grouchy ladybug. So what do you think? Why did the grouchy ladybug end up sharing with the friendly ladybug at the end of the story? Any ideas? Maybe because she realized she couldn't fight anyone, right? She just needed to eat. And sometimes you need to be nice. You should be nice, right? That's a green choice. And what about all the other animals that she tried to fight with? Can you name some of the animals she tried to fight with? There was a whale, right? We had a beetle. We had the other ladybug. Did she fight any of them? No, why not? Probably because she didn't really want to fight, right? She was just mean. She was in a bad mood. And sometimes we're all in bad moods. What is something the grouchy ladybug could have done that would have made her in a happier mood? What could we do to make the grouchy ladybug happy? What do you think? All right, boys and girls, if you have any extra comments, tell me in the Remind app. I will talk to you soon. Bye.